Hey everybody, welcome back to Wigs Wednesday. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to build a CRM for a credit repair company in Wigs. So of course you can build any type of CRM, any type of workflow that you want, as well as any type of automations that you want. But in this example, I'm going to be using it for a credit repair company. So the first thing you want to do is to go um, into your Wix settings and under contacts, you want to find your workflows. So you can start from scratch or use any of their examples. And I'm just going to go ahead and use sales leads as a template. So this is the example that they give you. And then I'm just right now going to update it to meet the needs of my client in this industry. The best way to explain what a workflow is to me is what stage is the client in? And then the cards are nothing but a uh, contact. So uh, as somebody falls within one of these stages, you'll see their contact information or quote unquote card here. You also have the option to drag people uh, from anywhere. So right now, um, I don't believe they have any contacts or they have me. So you can drop people from place to place to place. So right now, like I said, I'm just gonna update it to what is more um, suitable for this agency. So I'm just gonna say not schedule. So I wanna create a workflow for the people who just leave their contact information, but not necessarily schedule a call or a consultation. The next step I'm gonna do is say, Okay, they went ahead and they set the consultation. So consultation set. Oh, that's a good one. Uh -oh. do do? Rename steps. Sorry, guys. Moving too fast. Set. Press enter. The next thing I'm going to say, I want to send them an invoice. So I would like to, I'm going to explain it a little bit better after I rename everything. Yeah, I like this. So basically I created these different steps. So this is for a person who just left their information. So let's say, you know, if you have a landing page or something, or they just, you know, put their, joined your mailing list, that's it. This is where I would want them to fall. For anybody who books a consultation with me, this is where I would want them to fall. So once we get on that consultation, I say, okay, yeah, they want to work with me. They they uh they agree to my services, X, Y, Z. They'll fall under here, which is send them an invoice. So CR is one of the various invoices that my uh, client has. And then a no call, no show is uh, just going to throw them into a, um, a marketing campaign to get them to rebook their appointment. And then paid and completed is, you know, Let's say they just pay, they, I sent them the invoice and they paid it and we just skipped that step. So now that we set up our workflows, we're going to go under automations and get the party really started. So Wix now gives you various uh, automations that can be sent. So send instructions before a set, uh, session, thank a customer who visited, uh, who submitted a form. Um, different ways to engage and retain your clients. And then Wix now integrates with Zapier um, for even more things. So I'm just going to go ahead and start from scratch. And this is what it looks like. So what I am going to do is start lucky and say, so you want to be very, very specific with your automations because once you get to grow and glow, you're going to have so many of them and you don't want to get confused. So be as specific as possible. So I'm going to say this person schedule a call and I want to add them to a workflow. Add to work. Oops, workflow. So what that means is this person submitted a session. So we're going to say what's booking, session book. And I'm not going to say all services. Um, I'm going to say specific services because I don't know if this person is going to want to add stuff later. And I know for these two, uh, this is what I want to do. So person books the call, one of these two calls. The next thing we're going to do is 
move them into a workflow card. So these, this is the group because you can have multiple workflows. The step I want them to be in is they set the consultation and we're going to have this scheduled immediately. So you're just going to click activate. And there you have it. So you can quickly view this over here and edit it um, for quick access. So I'm going to create another one. Or let's say I just wanted to um, duplicate this. I could, and then you can edit it later. But I'm just going to create a new one from scratch. And this one is going to be for those people who I said just uh, opted in, which means they left us their email, but they never scheduled a consultation. So the goal here is to get them to schedule a consultation. So I'm just going to say contact page because that's the only place I have a form. No call scheduled. So I'm going to say is Wix forms. Once they submit a form, specific form, these two. I'm going to add them to, can you guess which one it will be? Not scheduled. And we're going to do that immediately. All right, guys. So now this is where it's going to get interesting. So now we want to create, the first thing I'm going to do is create the no call, no show campaign. I'm sorry. So those are for the people who scheduled a consultation, but they didn't show up. Again, we're not mad at them. Things happen. We know they wanted to work with us. They probably forgot. So we're just going to remind them. We got to